Hey, what's going on guys? Tanmay F and in this video tutorial, we're going to be understanding what are statements and what are comments in JavaScript. So this is going to be a very quick short video because this topic is not that big, but definitely it is under our curriculum and we'll just quickly go ahead in the programming part directly. So in the previous video, we ran our first program that is the hello world program. And if you have missed that video, you can check it out. So as you can see on the screen, on the right hand side, we have our visual studio code running and this is our bare bone structure of the HTML document. And here you can see in the script tag, we have embedded our first line of JavaScript. So this was something that we did in the previous video as well. So coming to our topic of statements. Now in general, whenever you're using any kind of programming language, essentially what you're doing is you're giving some instructions to the computer to perform certain tasks and perform certain activities for you, right? So this is something which is common among all programming languages. So now these statements are pretty much what is known as instructions to the computer. So if you come to this JavaScript code written over here, this document dot write and inside this opening and closing round brackets, whatever we have typed is basically an instruction to the browser to execute this code and to print out hello world on the screen, right? So this is exactly an instruction for the browser. So yes, this is a JavaScript statement. So again, statements are instructions to the computer or to the system to perform certain activities. Now we can have many statements in one single program. Obviously we're not going to write only one line of code. So we're going to be performing multiple activities. So you can have multiple statements and the way we separate statements is by using a semicolon. So you can see over here, this semicolon separates this statement and let me just copy this entire line and hit enter and again paste it. So now we have two different statements which are separated by semicolon. So I'm going to say h2 tag over here. So let's print out h2 tag and inside this we'll say telescope learnings. Just save this and refresh this. And there you go. You can see now two things are printed. So we have one h1 tag being printed, which has hello world and other one is telescope learning. So yes, this was just a little bit of explanation on what are statements in JavaScript or in any other programming language. And as I mentioned, we can have n number of statements. They just need to be separated by semicolon and you can have statements on one single line as well. So if I paste one more line over here, you can see this is completely valid. If I save this and run this, we'll have three outputs. If I take this on the next line, it will, it will be considered the same, just that it has to be separated by semicolon. Now we can have multiple things in statements. We can have variables. We can have function calls. We can have something running in the background or some doing some other task and whatnot, you know, you can have something that is performing some animations and so on and so forth. Of course, we haven't discussed variables, data types, functions, and we'll be covering that in further videos. So that's why I have not included anything over here, but yes, you get the point, right? Anything that is performing certain task is a statement in JavaScript. Now coming to the comments. So comment is a line in programming in JavaScript or in any programming that does not have any effect on the program. So a single line comment starts from double slash. So you can see double slash over here forward double slash and you can see this is a comment. Now if I save this and if I run the document or refresh the HTML document again, you can see there is nothing happening over here because this is a comment and it does not affect how the program runs. Okay. How JavaScript runs. So you must be wondering why do we need comments? So in general, a comment is just added to remind the programmer of what the activities are happening. So just besides this document dot write, I can see in comment that we are printing hello world. So this is just a note for the programmer so that he remembers what he is doing in the program. Now this is irrelevant when you're typing very small code. Let's say you're writing 10 lines of code and after 20 days you come back and again read through that you'll easily understand. But in real world scenarios, when you're writing like hundred lines of code, 200 lines of code, or even more than that. In that case, if you write a 500 line of code and come back 20 days and again, go through that code, you'll be like, Oh my God, what is this? Right? So you'll be confused. So that's where comments come into picture. And it is a very good habit to always have comments wherever necessary. So this was single line comment. There can be multi-line comment as well. So let's say you want to comment out all these three lines together. So you start off with forward slash and you say star and then to end the multi-line comment, you again say star and forward slash. So anything inside this is going to be a multi-line comment. Okay. So if I cut this and paste it over here, anything in this space is going to be a multi-line comment. Okay. You can have anything over here. You can type anything and this is all a multi-line comment and it will not affect your program. So that's it for this video guys. In the next video, we'll cover some more JavaScript syntax concepts and practical aspect of JavaScript. 
Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.